Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back today. I am doing the long overdue review of the Navitus X Paulina Shar Kind Intentions. I I know y'all been requesting it, my bad. Y'all, y'all, y'all been knowing my life lately, but I'm gonna give you all the details of this fragrance and how I actually feel about it. But before we do, if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So this is Paulina's second fragrance with Navitus. I love and have a dedicated review of Venom of Love. This one is just a beauty. Absolutely loved it. So when she announced that she was getting the second one, I was like, okay, cool. We, we know this is going to come through. So as she was announcing like all of the notes and things, I don't know if something did not jump out and speak to me but because i really like paulina's uh channel and her vibes i was like you know what <laughs> take a chance sis because just based off the notes i was just like i don't think i would love it <laughs> but we support over here so if i like you i'm gonna support you so i still ended up purchasing this fragrance as i wore it right this reminded me of a scene from Maleficent. <laughs> Specifically when Aurora is like a toddler or whatever and like Maleficent's just chilling in the tree like watching her and then Aurora like falls off a cliff <laughs> and the trees catch her. Yeah. That's this fragrance. It's got not a foresty feel but like you're running through like hay or something like that like not a cornfield but you know how they have the, the stalks or whatever and you're running through that and then there's a cliff of like a marine vibe to it so like you smell that salty like water like ocean water this one's unique okay this one is definitely unique in my collection it's hard for me to even describe and I know some people were like, oh, it kind of gives like a cotton candy Baccarat Rouge vibe. I slightly get that, slightly. But for the most part, I do get this kind of like meadow, like not quite garden. It's almost like, it's like a, a, a field. <laughs> that That's what it is. It's, it also gave me like, all right, if I'm going down to the boardwalk and I can hear the boardwalk under my feet and I can slightly smell the saltiness of that ocean water and somebody's making like cotton candy but they're way down the the boardwalk and you know I'm chewing on like saltwater taffy yeah saltwater taffy like, that's kind of how it is. It's like fresh, but like slightly sweet. But then I got to a point during the wear where I just got hit with so much like incense. I'm guessing that's the frankincense. Like I had an incense vibe and incense is cool. Uh, I'm not really a incense-y kind of girl. So I really don't know what to make of this fragrance because it's like, it smells good but I just don't feel like it's me. Yeah, it, I don't know if it's like that seaweed hay, that, well, not even the seaweed. It really feels like I'm in a field, but it's like warm sunshine, but I'm close to some sort of water but it's not like a aqua. You know how sometimes I'll be like, oh, it's aquatic and stuff like that. No, like it's a different type of like sea smell. Now, as far as longevity and things like that, I remember the first day I sprayed this, I sprayed it in my room and I started going in the kitchen, doing my ones and twos, blah, 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 whatever. And I came back into the room and I could still smell it. So I'm like, oh, this one's got a little oomph to her. So I do like that, you know, she does have a nice little trail, a little sillage bopping behind you. But, uh, like, it smells like I am outside. Like, I, 
I kind of feel like, yeah, it just, it's not a bad smelling hay. And I think that's what I really want to get across, but it just, when I'm up on my skin, I really, really smell that kind of hayish quality. It's, I know that was something that Paulina was kind of like, uh, how are people going to be receptive of it? I don't know. But there were also points in time where I almost got like a Burberry Her vibe minus the strawberry, which would lead us back to Baccarat. So it's, it's that sweetness that kind of like, okay, like it carries me through. And that's what I'll get little gentle wafts of. But if I'm directly smelling my skin, I smell hay. It's, it's complicated. <laughs> so who is this for? I don't think it's personally my style of perfume. Does it smell bad? No. I appreciate it for what it is, but I'm gonna be honest, if I were to have smelled this like in store, I would not have picked this up. It just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's not hitting the way I thought it would. But then again, I wasn't like overly excited about it just based off the notes as well. But this packaging is beautiful. Like I forgot, I, I didn't even show you guys the, the packaging, but. I really do like the packaging. This is great for like spring, summer, possibly even fall because of that hay quality. Just think, you know, you about to go pumpkin patch picking. Is that what you say, pumpkin patch? I don't know, child. But either way, I just feel like this one is not me. Now, now, caveat. I am gonna let this settle in metal because there have been times with Nabatis that, specifically Chocolate Queen, that I'm like, eh, it's okay. And then a couple of months later, it completely surprises me and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm in love. So this might actually be a slow burn for me because I don't all the, like, I'm not like, oh my God, I hate this, this is terrible. I'm not saying that. I don't feel that way. I just don't feel like, I would be reaching for it like mm, this. So um, I did pair it surprisingly with <laughs> Kaoli Yum Pistachio. I only paired it because they kind of looked alike, but this pairing was actually quite nice to be honest with you. I was like, Yum Pistachio brought out the sweetness um, on my skin, which that's what for me I needed because it gets very, very like hayish on me. And then with the incense and it overwhelms me a little bit, but just to add a little sweetness to it, these two worked out great. Overall, I am still gonna play with it. She's not leaving my collection. And I, if Paulina had a third fragrance, I'm gonna buy it as well. But I think this one was a miss for me personally. If I circle a block on it, Y'all know I'm going to let you know. But in the meantime, check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one.